Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's it's been way too long. I really owe you guys a channel update, a bit of a vlog, so let's let's just let's do it. The video for these Mewtwo 3D prints that my buddy Carmelo modeled and then I printed has just gone bonkers. It has like 170,000 views on it, and I made a stupid joke in the video where people took it as I didn't know what UV light was or how it worked and then I did an update video beyond that. But not everybody that sees that video gets to see the update video. So I, I think there's still people that think I don't know how UV light works. And uh, it's, just, it's just funny to see all of the awesome helpful comments of people trying to tell me what UV light is and how I can charge UV reactive filament to make it glow. It's just... It's just, it's just funny. And while we were away for the weekend, I kept seeing all those comments come through and that was a lot of fun. Before we left, I think I did tease this. This is my combat fidget spinner test and it's too big to spin in one hand, obviously. But I think what I can do is put it on the table and then let it, let it spin. Uh, it's weighted by half inch nuts and then it's got these sharp edges here. It was inspired by Angus and uh, his Maker's Muse combat fidget spinner because I did the initial tutorial. I challenged him to make a cool one in Autodesk Fusion and he did. So now I need to kind of up my game and I have some ideas for this, but I, I like that it has my little logo right there. If I can actually do what I want to do, it's going to be awesome. Hey, and don't forget, one of these Nintendo Switch consoles could be yours. There's still seven days left in my Nintendo Switch contest. I've had a huge response to this and everybody is really excited at the chance of winning one of these Nintendo Switch consoles. I will put the link down in the description of this video as well. I really wish you the best of luck if you enter. Uh, I can't wait to give one of these away. As far as projects go, I still have that Mario block I need to finish. I have the Lucio gun that I need to finish. I do have quite a number of printers that I need to unbox and test and kind of give you some opinions on. I know I have the Zix printer. That's the ZYYX printer. I have the Trinus from Kodama. I have the Block Zero kit. I still have that Simi CNC Rostock Max V3 kit that I do need to assemble. Of course, I was gonna do that before Murph, I got sick. I wasn't able to do that. I still need to find the time to do that. Oh, and I, I have the Creality CR10. I've had a number of requests of people saying, you need to get this printer, Joel. It's awesome. I've had lots of friends who've had it who say it's a great printer. I can't wait to get that printer put together. And, and finally, I do have one more printer in a box that I do need to get out, I do need to install. I can't tell you what it is quite yet, but you're going to be very surprised that I have this machine. And I'm really looking forward to see if it's as good as the manufacturer says. As far as non-printer things go, coming up on the channel, I do have the Mosaic palette. I need to, I need to get it out of the box and start playing with it. And I'm really looking forward to it after I saw 3D Maker Noob talk about it and show it off. It looks pretty cool. Lulzbot sent me the more Struder, which I'm going to take out of the box and put it on my TAS 6 and, and hopefully get some pretty fantastic prints off of and tell you about that. And finally, uh, for the Ultimaker 2 Plus, I did get the Olsen Ruby, and I'm really looking forward to taking that out of the box. As far as travel coming up, I am going to be going to the Bay Area Maker Fair, and before that I will be having a meetup at Matter Hackers. So the Wednesday the 17th, I will be at Matter Hackers traveling Thursday and then Friday through Sunday. I will be at the Bay Area Maker Fair at the Matter Hackers booth, and I'll have a lot more information on that when I announce the winners for my Nintendo Switch. That's where you're gonna get the information for that travel bit. I am confirmed for VidCon. Now, I will have more information as that comes up as well, but I'm really looking forward to meeting some people at VidCon. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Finally, there's no way I'm gonna get out of this video without talking about 100,000 YouTube subscribers. And I'm approaching it really fast. In fact, by the time you watch this video, there's a good chance I may have, may have crossed that. Uh, that goal, 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I'm at 99,500 right now, and it's, it's late, so I can't stay up to watch the counter. But if you see it, if it happens while you're watching this, then you know, take a picture for me, because that's cool. I'll talk more about 100,000 subscribers. I'll talk a lot more about what it means to me, what it means for the channel, and what I think it means for the community all together 
once I cross that, but let's just let's just call it good there. I'm really I'm really excited, you guys. I can't I can't I can't tell you how excited I am. Hey, with that, why don't we call it good? This was just uh, an update on the channel. I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you letting the ads play. That's really nice of you. Uh, I'm gonna get some sleep, and I'm gonna hopefully hit it hard this week and get you lots of good content. So uh, get some rest, you guys. I love you all. As always, high five.